Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to update number three on the H1 project, which is working on the Hummer H1 body shell from HG, which is the P415. Now, I do want to clarify something up with you guys on this right here. So HG came out with two different types of Hummers. They came out with the military Humvee, which is the P408, which is the one I currently own now. Then they re recently came out with the Hummer H1, which is the P415. Now, both of these vehicles are 100% the same. They have the same chassis, the same parts, the same wheels and tires, the same electronics. Uh, they're all, they're, they're just the same vehicle. So the P408 and the 415 are both the same exact vehicle. So you can interchange these bodies and the parts along that's on the body as well. You can change them from both rigs, all right? <laughs> So if you see the P408, the P415, uh, they're both the same, all right? So, but yeah, like I said, you can interchange the body so you can take the Humvee body shell and put it on the P15, 415 body, or chassis there, uh, and vice versa. You can do the same thing with the 415. You can put it on the 408 chassis. Doesn't matter. They're both the same vehicle. They fit the same way. Uh, the only difference is that this is a Hummer H1, which has a more civilian, modern look to it versus the military Humvee, which is actually the one right here I have. So this is the 408 body shell, which is a military Humvee. Uh, so yeah, both, you know, like I said, same vehicle, same everything. It's just a Humvee has a little bit of a uh, couple different features of what a Humvee or a Hummer H1 would have. So this is the stripped down version of that, of that one. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do to the vehicle was add some protection to it uh, because I know when I'm out trailing and crawling with this thing, uh, the sides of the vehicle are really gonna get the impact of, of most abuse there. This is something that I saw on the on the hum, Humvee body shell. So down here on the lower part, right here, is where it would catch a lot of abuse uh, from trailing and stuff. So rocks are crawling, you know, hitting the side up and stuff like that. And uh, so I wanted to protect this vehicle as much as possibly could because the body shells are not cheap. These are about a $200 body shell by itself. Uh, so you, 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 you want to basically add a good amount of protection between, you know, to these bodies so you don't really damage it. Now, as you see here, I actually put some tape down here. This is like last year, I put a, a strip of duct tape down here to kind of help the abuse and stuff. Now, HG does make a, uh, some side rails for it. Uh, which are like $25, $30 for them. Not bad price on that. But uh, they sit down really low, like another inch or so from from the uh, the body there. And uh, to me, I think you're going to get hung up when you're out there trailing and, and crawling and stuff like it. Which these are not crawlers, by the way. Uh, <laughs> these are strictly trail trucks, my friends. A lot of people tend to think that these are crawlers. These are not crawlers. Yes, they're in the crawler area but they're more of a scale Chiral truck than anything else. So uh, I do want to point that out. But uh, yeah, so, so I wanted to add some protection to it. And so I came up my own way instead of had to order those uh, side brackets there or side steps. So this is what I did, did you see? Now I did a plastic strip on there. Look under here, you can see right there. Now, this is actually from a corner guard cover, all right? This is what you put on like the corner of, of sheetrock and stuff like that, or molding to kind of protect it from getting damaged and stuff like that, uh, hitting against it and stuff like that. So uh, I went to the hardware store. This cost me $3 for about a four foot stick of it. Not a bad price, clear. As you can see, now this does have tape on it, a little self heats of tape on it. Uh, really sucks, not great. So I ended up peeling that off and uh, stripping it down and I shot both sides black, inside and outside. So that way when I do 
hit something with it, you know, rock or whatever, uh, and it scrapes the paint, I still have black behind it. So, uh, so yeah. So that's my little protection to protecting the body. <laughs> Trying to think there. Um, I thought it was a good idea, so I just basically put it up against the vehicle, traced out, and then cut it to you know, the shape it needs to be, and it turned out great. I really am digging it. So that's what I did to you know, protect the sides. Three dollars and fourteen cents or so after taxes and all that to make my own little custom slider. So I think that was a really cool idea, uh, you know, to save extra, save some extra money there, not have to spend any more money. But uh, it looks great. The body's coming out really well. Uh, another thing that I did to protect the, the body shell, uh, I showed this before, is that I trimmed out the body with this rubber tubing, some black rubber tubing, also here on the back, as you can see, right there. And uh, I did that, so if the tires, you know, if I, you know, kind of flexed out and stuff like that, uh, tires would come up, it wouldn't like damage the body, or if I'm crawling on something uh, and my front goes down, you know, it will kind of protect their fender wells as well, so that way I'm not, uh, when I hit a rock, it'll, it won't cause any damage to the, uh, to the fender wells in there. So that's another thing I did, and that's another cheap mod that you can do, just, black rubber tubing you can get that anywhere for a very low cheap price uh you know just a little bit of protection to protect that body and make it last a lot longer because you know like i said with the 408 or the humvee body shell look at the damage down below on the edge there eventually if i run this vehicle more and more eventually that plastic will get wore out start tearing cracking and i did not want that to happen so that's what i did on that part so there you go my friends so i hope that you like this video if you did smash that thumbs like button comment down below also if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe help me grow i really would appreciate it but uh there's my idea so uh <laughs> for you uh folks who have the p408 or the 415 there's your little idea of how to do that so just go to your hardware store grab some quarter guard and uh and do that now, I also used 3N industrial uh, tape, and uh, that stuff is really, really sticky. Like, I had to take a pair of pliers just to pull the backing of the tape off. That shows you how strong it was. I couldn't even get it off with my fingernails or anything. That's how sticky it was. Uh, but it's on there, and it looks great. So, not too much left on the H1 project. Uh, still got the wheels and tires to do, uh, which <laughs> that's been a headache and a mess right there, which I'll explain that in the upcoming video. Uh, but yeah, not much left. We're going to get it bolted onto the chassis, get our wheels and tires, a bumper installed, and uh, do a, a few other little, uh, little small things to uh, really bring this vehicle to life, and hopefully we'll be hitting the trails very, very soon. So yeah. All right, my friends, so thank you again for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see y'all in update number four of the H1 Project. Thanks for watching.